marketing. Six. One more. So, taking Mount Rushmore, for example, yeah. the four people, right? Yeah. The four presidents. Um, think about brands, right? Mm -hmm. And if you were going to replace your four favorite brands mm -hmm. on Mount Rushmore, what, what would that look like for you? Wow. And it's interesting because it's, dude, it's it can be so, I you know, it right. can be so all across the board. It could be something that you're really, really digging now. Wow. Um, and I heard you ask Pat this question and I didn't even think about it. Um, my four favorite brands... Oh God, um, Jameson maybe one. There you go. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Just hey, man. think about how Jameson is, is killing it right now. Yeah. Um, I think that's. I, I mean, I, knowing you, that would. I, that would be, I thought that would be I, up there. You know, I'm not a uh, everyday drinker, but that's what I drink when I go out. Yeah. And, and um, their their uh, place and you know in the marketplace. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what I think they almost single-handedly brought about the big whiskey, you know, takeover of booze. Yeah. Um, so it was it was pretty yeah it was pretty amazing. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I mean, I use Apple all the time. There you, you go. I, I as much as I can get pissed off at my phone every now and then. I still use it, I still rely on it. And yeah. um, you guys know, I mean, we could easily go out and buy $300 PC laptops. Yeah, yeah, and man. I, instead a, we spend you I know, agree. $1,000 to $1,200 or $1,500 yeah. on a laptop because it's just, it, it works for us. And you know, Apple's been, been pretty brilliant with that, although they're somewhat lagging now, but it's cyclical, they'll come back around. Um, what else? What other brands? Um, it's funny, John. I knowing you, I wouldn't think that you. I, I think I think you would just be like this, uh, dude. I mean, it's just all over the place, though. You know, um, like when you think about it, like what's what steps up in your mind, like what you buy, what you engage with, yeah, what you. I mean, coming from a music background, I mean, I think of like brands that I've used for years and years. Yeah. Like, you know, like Pioneer has made headphones and turntables and things for years. And, and now go. they have completely taken over the, uh, the DJ market with their CD players and their controllers. And people are struggling to catch up. And yeah. Pioneer, if you remember like 20 years ago, Pioneer was kind of a junk brand. Yeah, you know, it was. It was like you'd, you'd have, I forget what the brands were that you'd buy it. Then like in the Lazarus stereo department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Pioneer is one of those. Really quickly, what was was who? What brand was it with the the dude sitting on this chair and the speakers? Maxell. That was Maxell. Yeah, okay. that was the that yep. was the cassette tape yeah, yeah. era. Yeah, yeah. Maxell was was. I mean, uh, talk about it. that was an amazing. Oh, that was, amazing campaign. That was a, yeah. One I of, mean, we remember that one of the greatest campaigns. That's ever, like for the sure. Indian with the crying guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Um, so yeah, think about Pioneer, what they've done in the in the music in the DJ world. It's, um, what else is that? Three. That's what's, yeah. One more. What's one more? Um, wow. Uh, Puma. Bam. I'm sure you can Puma. recognize that because yeah. I I wear Puma shoes a lot, and yeah. to me they're comfortable. And think it same thing. Years ago, Puma was a nobody. Yeah. You know, and they have through marketing and relationships and picking the right athletes. You know, I watch Formula One a lot. They're all over Formula One because they've bought into that. Yeah. And so that Puma business has grown up. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if all those deserve to be up at Mount Rushmore, but they're four very recognizable brands. And by the way, it has nothing to do with right. what's right or wrong. It's right. just like, you know, because I, I think it tells a lot about the person. Right. Um, right. I got this whole thing from talking to Sabrina, my girlfriend. She was saying, she saw it online somewhere, and right. she used it as rock stars. What rock stars would you right. put up there versus... And I was right. like, dude, I, yeah. I mean, then I really had to think, right? And then I didn't want to leave certain people out. Right. And, you know, I, I would ask everybody around the office and it'd be surprising. Like, you, they wouldn't pick... You, none what of the, you thought? Yeah, none of the Beatles were there. Elvis was never picked. Right. Like, it, like right. crazy stuff, you know? Right. I asked Freddie and he was extremely... Uh, well, listen, if this guy wasn't here, then these guys would have never been here. Like, he was very you know, right. logical about right. the order of history. So I don't think there's any, there's no wrong or no. right. It's just really, but it tells a lot about and everybody, you. And everybody thinks about why that 
brand should be up there. Correct, because you know? it, because you've engaged it's with it. It's a personal experience yeah. of what it is, and very, that's what and that's what branding is about. It's yeah. that personal experience. And it's very personal. You know the 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 shoes, right. And the music equipment, right. And the computers that I've grown up on, correct. You know, yeah. you're not saying fucking cocoa puffs, right? Right. Coca Cola, yeah. Or, or yeah, right. But be, even because that wasn't that much of an attachment for you, right? And I think it's really interesting. I, I I asked everybody that, and I think the majority of them like only gave me two answers. Right. Like, come on, you, you right. can't right. think of that. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 Well, cool. I think that says a lot about you. 